Right everyone, we're back again with these motorbike injectors. We're having a bit of a spooky one this time in the dark. We're going to run a automatic flow test on these injectors. The reason why we're doing it in the dark is because the machine is backlit. We can see quite clearly any spray patterns. In the light, it's not quite as obvious. So, bear with us a few minutes and we'll run this test. So what we're simulating on this test is we're simulating 600 RPM of the engine running. 3 milliseconds opening duration of the injectors. Each of these tests will run 20 seconds. You can see straight away spray patterns aren't the best. We've now changed on to 600 RPM again but with 6 milliseconds. So we're opening the injectors longer this time. We're now running 12 milliseconds. Might not be as clear to see on the video, but there's, there's quite a difference in spray patterns on these injectors. Certainly on number 4, the furthest one on the right. Okay. Stepped it up a gear here. We're now 3 milliseconds, but it simulated 2,500 RPM. Very clear number four spray pattern on that is, is poor, to put it bluntly. It's got more of a stream kicking off to the left hand side. So now we're doing six milliseconds at 2,500 RPM. Again, cylinder number four is very clear poor spray pattern. The other ones aren't the best either, but. Five thousand RPM for you know motorbike. Five thousand RPM is not really that high. Running three milliseconds. Yeah, again, cylinder number four we could see would be spraying off to the side. We're simulating cranking here. So this is two hundred RPM. If a customer had a complaint that the engine struggled to start. This is where we'd be looking here. If it was obviously a fueling problem when it's struggling to start. So, that's that test done. You can still see, unfortunately, cylinder number one injector. Um, looks like it's got a bit of a leak on it.